Hey guys, what is up? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you some tips about Adobe Premiere Pro timeline that you may not know about. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first one is the basic one which is playing back, right? If you want to play back the timeline, you need to press space bar on your keyboard. So here if I press space bar on my keyboard, the video will be playback, right? Again, if I press space bar, it will stop playback. There is another way to play back the video on your keyboard. If you press L on your keyboard, it will start playing it back. And again, if you press K on your keyboard, it will pause or it will stop the playback, right? If you press L key twice, then it will speed up the playback. If I press twice L key, then you can see the playback speed has been increased. Again, if I press L key, it will speed up the playback, right? So when you are reviewing a video on your timeline, then you can use this method to play back the video so that it doesn't take a lot of time, right? Now, suppose you want to play back the video in a backward manner. What you can do, you can press J key on your keyboard, right? Now you can see the video is playing back in backward manner. If I press the J key again, it will speed up the backward playback speed, right? Again, if I play back the J, it will speed up the backward playback. If I press K, it will stop the video playback, right? So you can use J, K, L on your keyboard to play back the video in Adobe Premiere Pro timeline. Now let's talk about snapping, right? When you want to move a clip on the timeline, suppose I want to insert the clip here, and if I take it here, you can see it is snapping, right? Because we have enabled the snapping feature from here. If I disable it, and then if I try to match it here on this cut, it will not work, because we have disabled the snapping. So make sure you have enabled snapping, and then if you just click and drag, it will match perfectly. But there is another snapping feature. Suppose when you are working on your timeline, the playhead is not snapping here on the waveform or here on the cut, right? If you want to enable it, then you need to go to edit. Then you need to go to preference. If you are using Mac, then go to premiere, then preference. And from here, click on timeline, this one. Click here and then from this window, enable snap playhead in timeline when snap is enabled, right? Just enable it, then click OK. Now, if you just drag this playhead, it will snap here on the waveform. Again, it will snap here on the cuts, right? It will help you to edit your video and match the clip in a better way. So make sure you have enabled it from the preference. Sometimes you need to edit a audio. Suppose I want to edit this portion of my audio, right? To edit it, I need to apply effect. I am just applying parametric equalizer. I'm just clicking and dragging it here. And now if I want to edit the equalizer from the effects control panel under parametric equalizer, if I press space bar and then if I go to edit, I'm just editing, editing, editing and suddenly it will go to the next clip. But I want to edit the clip while I am listening to this clip, right? In that kind of scenario, you can enable loop playback in Adobe Premiere Pro so that you can edit the audio perfectly, right? To enable loop playback, what do you need to do? You need to select the portion that you want to have loop playback and press I on new keyboard or you can just right click here and then you can select marking and then go to where you want to end the loop and here you have to press O on your keyboard to make a out point right and from the program window you need to enable this one which is loop playback if you don't see this button then you need to go to here on this button editor and then you need to click and drag this loop playback here and then press OK. Then this button will appear here. Now, if you enable this one, what it will do, it will play back this portion of your in point and out point again and again. If I play back from here, you will see it will play back and it will again start the playback from the beginning of my in point. So when you are editing audio on your timeline, then you can enable loop playback to edit the audio in a better way. Now let's talk about the next one, which is navigating through the timeline, right? Suppose this is a timeline and if I want to navigate through the timeline, I need to click and drag this playhead here to navigate it. But you can use your keyboard to navigate through your timeline. If you want to go to at the beginning of your timeline, what do you need to do? You can press 00 on your numpad, which is this one on your keyboard. This portion, don't use this portion. This portion will work to navigate through your timeline, right? Just press 00 on your numpad, then press enter. It will take the playhead here on the beginning portion. If you want to go to at one minute mark of your timeline, you need to just write 010101 here on your numpad, right? So here the playhead is at the beginning of my timeline. If I just write 010101 and press enter, it will take my playhead at the one minute mark, right? 
again you can use the same technique to change the position of any clip if you select any clip suppose i have selected this clip and now if i write any number here on my numpad it will take this clip on that mark suppose i want to take this clip at the beginning of my timeline if i press 00, 0 and then if i press enter it will take the clips at the beginning of my timeline again if i press maybe uh, 1 01001 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, it will take the clip at one minute mark so you can easily navigate through your timeline using the numpad here on your keyboard now the last one that is pancake timeline you can use pancake timeline feature to work on several timeline at once suppose you have cutted the clip here on this timeline and now you want to make a final version of this clip so what you can do you can just click and drag it here and you can just place it there right then you will see there is two separate timeline section now you can use this wrap card to have a final version suppose i want to make my final version here so if i just click and drag it here suppose i want to use this clip if i just click and drag it here and then i can work on this timeline again if i want to use this clip i can just click and drag it there i can use that clip here so if you want to make a final version from your rough cuts then you can use this feature to work at once on several timeline so that is all that is some tips about adobe premiere pro timeline and i hope you have liked that video if you have liked that video and learned something new then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one and let me know if you have any suggestion for my videos in the comment section below i will definitely try to improve my videos i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye